Good morning, sweetie. How are you? Oh, well, will you look at that? It looks like you've grown a new pair of eyes. Now, now, there's no need to panic, is there? They look positively dreamy, my dear. Oh, you silly thing. Of course they do. I already enjoyed gazing into your eyes, and now there are twice as many to enjoy. They really are fetching the way they're positioned right above your original ones. Come here, come here. Let me get a better look at them. Ooh, such a wonderful color. Although, were your original eyes this color? They seem to match, but... Oh, so the eye color changed as well. That explains it then. Oh, they're so vibrant. I don't want to make you think that... There was anything particularly wrong about your original eyes, of course. It's just that these match your looks particularly well. It must be bothersome to have your hair getting in the way, though, mustn't it? Don't worry. We'll get that fixed for you immediately. There we are. The royal barber will have your vision clear in no time at all. Oh, don't wriggle around like that, dear. You don't want to get your hair too short, I'm sure. Yes, that should be perfect. Let's make sure everything's okay, mm, my dear. Go ahead and close your main eyes for me. How is your vision from the new ones? Same as the old? Good, good. How do they move? Do they follow whatever your main eyes are looking at? Hmm, well, you could try looking at something different. Here, I'll hold up two fingers. Look at the one on the right with your main eyes, and try to look over at the left with the others. Hmm. There you go. So they follow your normal vision by default, but you can look elsewhere at will. I wonder, can they each move independently as well? Oh, how wonderful. They're so useful. I'm jealous, dear. I would absolutely love to have more eyes like that. You know what? This calls for a celebration. Let's not get all caught up in why. What's that phrase you humans have? Don't look a gift cat in the mouth? Oh, horse. Well, either way, you've gotten something lovely for absolutely free. Why question it? <laughs> Come along. Let's go to the kitchens. The chef has a cake ready for just such an occasion. I mean, perhaps not just such an occasion, but you know. In case there was anything worth celebrating. And if this isn't cause for celebration, then... 
I don't know what is. Of course, of course. You should be positively thrilled about all of this. It's not every day that you get a brand new dashing look. Oh, chef, fetch us the cake, won't you? Yes, that one. Thank you. Ooh. Mmm. Now doesn't that look scrumptious? As always, I won't really be eating any. Well, perhaps just a bite. Mm. Mm. Oh, so tasty. I wish my annual meal were made of chocolate. Although, I suppose I can't complain. It's delicious anyway. Mm. Oh, let's not spoil the cake with talk of that. I really shouldn't have brought it up. Go ahead, eat. Don't you dare think about holding back. We still want you to be eating more, remember? Is it good? I'm glad. I know you humans can't resist a delectable chocolate cake. You know, we could have this every day if you want. It doesn't have to be for special occasions. Well, if you say so. <laughs> What's the matter, dear? Is that all you're going to eat? Why, that's not even a whole slice. Hmm. Worried about the eyes still. You really shouldn't stress about it, dear. It's perfectly fine. Hmm. Perhaps we should go for a carriage ride. We can bring the cake. Perhaps some nice fresh air will whet your appetite, hmm? This way. Oh, wait a second. We should get a servant to carry that. No need for you to perform any physical labor, after all. Hmm. Oh, well, it's simple. I just have different ways of ringing the bell to call over different people. They probably all sound the same to your human ears, but we monsters can more easily tell the difference. Of course, before long, you'll be able to, uh... Uh... Well, never mind. Come along to the stables. Right through here. There you go. There. Now, have you ever seen such majestic creatures? We call them boundlings. They're so graceful and swift. Nothing like those horses you have in your world. Not to mention, our roads are well maintained. So they're nice and smooth. Carriage rides are a lovely way to relax and get rid of stress and anxiety. The carriages are so much more spacious than they appear from the outside as well. Here, let me help you up. Go ahead and get comfortable. Oh, did you not want to sit next to me? I think it would be much nicer if we could be close together. Here, I'll come over to you. You are going to absolutely love the countryside. Of course, it's dark out, but I wonder if your new eyes might make it easier to see without much light. 
can go ahead and poke your head out the window and tell me what you see. <laughs> I thought so. Aren't the royal gardens lovely this time of night? They're designed to be seen in this light, so you really do need to have keen eyes to appreciate how everything is laid out. I... I wouldn't say I was expecting your new eyes. I couldn't have possibly known you'd get a second pair, especially so soon. Oh, I mean... <clears throat> well, I suppose I had to tell you eventually. I do feel a little bad, though. I know you probably won't be happy about it. Living in our world brings changes with it. Changes like your eyes. It can cause many other changes as well. Scales, fur, wings, perhaps tentacles. Yes, while you and I aren't really the same species, I wasn't born looking like I am. Monsters look so different from each other because we gain random mutations as we age. And now that you're living here, you will too. Shh, it's okay. I knew this would upset you. Please, try to understand. This is not a bad thing. Don't forget, you're living among people that find this completely natural. I wasn't lying when I said your eyes were dreamy. They really are particularly wonderful. The only people who would think they looked ugly are other humans, and you're not living in the human world anymore. So really, it doesn't matter that much at all. Oh, please, please don't be like that. Really, this is all just a matter of acclimation. Believe me, if I could have made this happen more slowly, I would have. I didn't want you to be upset. I know I could have left you in the human world, but I really want you to ask yourself if that would have been a kindness. You're attached to it because you were used to it. You know how people sometimes cling to toxic relationships? I see it much like that. You were destined for a dreary life, struggling every day in a pointless job for people who don't care at all about you, just so you can survive. It's positively dreadful. Necessary, I'm sure, but you can't all just conjure food out of nowhere. But would that really be better than living in a palace with me? Mm. Well, You've caught me with the job part. I'll admit that. The role of human relations advisor was made up because I thought it would be easier to swallow. You can keep playing along with the shroud if you want, but I don't want to force you to do it anymore if you don't want to. Hmm. 
No, you're not wrong. I did force you to come here. But you have to realize that there was no other way. You never would have agreed to come with me. Imagine it. Some creature unlike anything you've ever seen appears in your room in the middle of the night and tells you she's going to bring you to her palace so she can dote on you and give you everything you ever wanted. Would you really have agreed to come with me? <laughs> Especially looking like something like a monster from those under-the-bed stories? <laughs> See there? You don't believe me even now. I suppose I can't blame you too harshly for that. I, after all, I haven't told you the real reason I brought you here to this world. The truth is, I brought you here to marry one of my daughters. It's true. I've heard that in your world, royalty used to suffer from inbreeding because they insisted on keeping the bloodline pure by marrying only royalty, which often meant cousins or other close relations. <laughs> Monsters have a very different definition of what constitutes a pure bloodline. For centuries, we've sought out mates who are vastly different from us genetically. This led to the practice of selecting someone from an entirely different world. At least, that's the official reason. The truth is, it's just so hard to find adult male monsters that this way is just easier now. We don't worry that much about the actual bloodline anymore. There are ways for her to have her brood even if you aren't able to sire them, but it's become customary for the king to be from another world. Oh no, no need to fuss. Because of our kind's unique situation, the word king has come to just mean the spouse of the queen. My daughter will be the true ruler, given she's the one who's been raised with a royal education. Since we're forced to bring in mates without that privilege, the king's role is more to strengthen and support the queen. My word, is there nothing I can do to calm you down? What is getting you all knotted up now? Oh, oh, I see. Since you're now turning into a monster, you're worried that you'll die young. Hmm, no, never you fear. Transitioning from human to monster won't have any effect on your potential lifespan. Barring any accidents, you'll live just as long as you would have otherwise. Oh, my king. That's right, I suppose I never told you about him. Mm, it's true that he didn't live very long after becoming a monster, but that's wasn't because his lifespan was shortened. He didn't die of natural causes. Well, truth be told, I would rather not talk about it. I'm sure you can appreciate that I miss him dearly. Besides, this is supposed to be a happy day. I don't want to darken it with so much talk of death. All right, let me just go over all of this for you and set your mind at ease. Yes, you 
are turning into a monster. No, it won't negatively impact your health. I brought you here on a pretense to marry my daughter, who is a lovely young lady, by the way. I will be introducing you to her soon. You won't have any particular responsibilities other than aiding her. You see, it's really not so bad, is it? You can look forward to a comfortable life surrounded by all the luxuries you could ask for. I do hope that's cleared up just about everything. I know it all got dropped on you suddenly, but it's not the sort of thing I can just tell them and expect them to go along with. I needed to show you. Now that you know everything, how do you feel? I know that keeping you in the dark has been stressful to you. Do you feel a little bit better now that you know the real reason you're here? I'm glad to hear it. Trust me. It's a load off of my shoulders as well. It brought me no pleasure to hide things from you, but I did it for your own good. You know, once you've married my daughter, it would be completely appropriate to call me mother. Perhaps even mommy. <laughs> At any rate, maybe now would be a good time to have another crack at that cake. Hopefully you have more of an appetite now. Ah, oh, lovely. I'm told chocolate is quite soothing. Enjoy, sweetie. The rest of your life is going to be just as sweet and decadent as that cake. And to all of my members and patrons, I want to thank you delectably and deliciously. Thank you for all of your support. Without you, I don't think I would still be around. Just in general, thank you. Wolf333333, Blood Brother132, Waterway the Wordsmith. Shotoa, Tyler Ferguson, Megalona, Bob Smith, Tercelona, Sapphire Dragon Gaming, Benimus Prime, Elisa Helena, Wolf Dragon Tamer, Tony H24, Toby Nichols, Brandon G, Brazil, Eric Phillips, Aaron Kosterman, Ben Kundik, Loki Son, Miscellaneous, and a special thank you to viewers like you that stuck it out to the end of the video. Thank you. Mwah.